Hello again. Let's get right back to it. The tower. I think I've done everything in this area. I mean, there's probably... A couple more things that could be discovered. A couple aesthetically pleasing things. But, uh... I think we should just move on for now. That's what I promised at the end of the last episode. Robotic arms. Interesting. You think that this is, like... You think this is bronze that is rusted? You know, like the whole Statue of Liberty situation, whatever it is. Copper. One of those elements that... turns colors over time? Maybe. Whoa, the ambience changed. Oh, come on, I can totally fit in here! <laughs> All right. Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. Hmm. All right, then. Use elevator. What's me to use E instead of left click? Doesn't that remind you of the end of Road to Gehenna? In the beginning, the god shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? I love this aesthetic. Starry space aesthetics with blues and purples and magentas and pinks. I love the way this looks. Uh, no swearing in this Let's Play, please. I don't have to explain that to YouTube. One moment, please. Uh, log. Who is closer to perfection? Who is closer to perfection? So obviously saying perfection is impossible is going to be a wrong answer because the question is who is closer, not who is. We can say they can't be compared. We can say they're the same. No, that's not really true. I mean, the process seemed pretty chaotic to me. Some refuse to judge because they are wise. Some, because they fear the truth. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to the gods than to the animals, he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? More alike in nature to the gods than to the animals. Hmm. Lots of interesting options here. Yes, because knowledge belongs to us all. Yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. No, fire was not for humankind to have. No, because knowledge must be earned, not given. Zeus did not create fire. It was not his to own in the first place. I mean, I think... <laughs> I think this is taking too literal of an interpretation of that myth. Like, obviously humans figured out fire on their own.
like this one. Yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. Children must learn to help themselves. Angered by the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? Lots of interesting options again. Hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. Zeus intent for humankind to have hope, it should have been released. Hope is itself an evil like sorrow and suffering, we are lucky it did not escape. Zeus intended for humankind to not have hope, so it remains trapped. We suffer, but we did not anticipate it. This is a blessing as Zeus intended it. I, uh, I did not brush up on my mythology in the time leading up to release of Talos 2. I mean, I know some mythology. But I don't think I've specifically studied Pandora's box and all that. I only know basics because of pop culture media, you know? Those who seek hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils. Uh, because you have an agenda. Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole? Or will it destroy you? Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. Guys, look at my stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. That looks like a massive amount of power. It's like a we giant connector. What just happened? Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to? And what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Presumably the same technology. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? Let's skip that issue for now. What really matters here is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. Testing you to what? See if you're worthy? That's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if you do it three times, you get access to the megastructure. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what I like? Certainty. You know how you get from mystery to certainty? By solving puzzles? Yep. 1K, you know the drill. The rest of you, as you were. Oh, well now. Anything up here? Well, not on this side, that's for sure. What a very large laser. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's anything up here either. Had to check. You know, just in case. Quite a sight. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of some of the endings you could get. I think there's three endings in Rodagana, and two of them you get to see a sight like that.
I guess now we should return to the tram and then go to the next area. That seems like an appropriate course of action. I mean, I could probably test if fast travel is an option from the menu here. No. Seems like the answer to that question is no. I have to go there on foot. I am kind of surprised that they chose to gender all the robots. You know? Because, like, Outer Wilds had an entire species in it. An entire race. One of the characters you play as is that, that race, even. Where they, they don't have genders. And uh, the aliens that you study are the ones who have genders. But, like, you know, robots are often considered genderless, but... You know, I guess gender is an interesting way to express things. That's a whole other topic for a whole other... ...whole other other. I think they make me press E on. <laughs> Travel to East 2. Sure, why not? I'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site, but while you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. You know, to get that success rate up a bit. Maybe there's another one of those labs that Wong K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. She's still harping on me about that remark that she interpreted as sarcastic. I was trying to be genuine, like it was a 100% success rate. <laughs> what are you talking about to get that success rate up? It's already at 100. I'm so annoyed that the game presented an option and expected me to know it was sarcastic, because there was no way I would have detected any sarcasm in that statement. Oh, interesting. So if we step here first, we can see some of the pieces in advance. What do we have over here? Just a nice look-up vantage point? Oh, a terminal. World Spirit. What is it that tries historical processes? It's easy to dismiss the idea of the great man, or the great woman for that matter, when clearly so much is determined by resource distribution, pre-existing political structures, and the randomness of the universe itself. But is there no space at all for the individual in all this? Are there not moments when... In Hegelian fashion, an individual may represent the world spirit itself? Was Napoleon history on horseback or not? Or is that itself another form of determinism? Uh, I think that's just historians, buddy. From Augustus to Napoleon, from Lincoln to Lenin, there are individuals whose actions seem to drive rather than merely be driven by history. They make bold choices, for good or ill, that transform the entire societies. Or do they? We like to blame them for their failures, but are they not ultimately just the expression of a historical moment? But if they are, what is the space? Sorry, where is the space for human agency? It sometimes seems to me that all of human history has been that one struggle to carve out a space for free choice against the tides of history, and heroes and tyrants, pick and choose examples as you will, are both equally a reflection of that. Our greater goal, then, ought to be to extend that freedom to the maximum number of people, to become captains of our own fate as much as that is possible in this universe. Uh, there's, there's a lot of mixed ideas in this. I don't fully agree with this one, personally. I think, I think it's really oversimplifying things, especially the idea of people driving history it's, it's really just something you look at in retrospect, and you decide to describe it that way. Like, things happen, the universe is and we are, and you can interpret things in a whole variety of different ways. From Hypatia's Journals, Volume 1, Founding of New Jerusalem, Day 14. Olympus and Yemo went back to the dam to get more charging equipment. They've not returned yet, which means that we've restrict 
that, sorry, that we've stretched a little thin, since we're still posting guards at all times. But those large herbivores haven't come back yet, and at any rate, Estethius assures us they're non-aggressive. But it's better not to take any chances. Not when there's so few of us and so many of them. Athena and Cornelius and Eustathius spend most of their time drawing up plans and arguing. In a friendly manner, but arguing still. The rest of us are managing to tune them out pretty well. It's like background noise after a while. We have started construction on the first habitat. It's going to be a temporary structure for now, but we'll all be glad to get out of the rain. There's a lot of these number sequences in these documents, and I'm guessing that like in Talos 1, there's a way to decode these. But I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe not can do that. So, what are you doing here, Trevor? Why are you trying to save the world? Well, look, I think humanity is awesome. I love humanity. As a species, we're great. I mean, our track record is pretty mixed, but have you seen everyone else? I mean, what did you do today, animal? Oh, I ate some leaves, sniffed my own butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. Or, you know, I tore this other animal limb from limb, sniffed my friend's butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. They really don't do anything interesting. I mean, you don't see animals directing Big Trouble in Little China. Birds can go, tweet, tweet, but it ain't exactly the White Album. I mean, they can't even make a good cheeseburger, for Christ's sakes. They have no art, no cuisine, no pleasure. Animals are nice to look at, but you wouldn't want to be one. Except maybe a cat. I could be a cat. That's, uh... That's, uh, quite a take to have on animals. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to not comment on that for now. Doesn't this just remind you of some of the, the first levels in Talos 1? Where you'd like, you're like an, on an island and there's islands in the distance. Beautiful scenery. Wait, do that again? <laughs> oh, little graphic setting. Hello, graphic setting. Hello, what is this? Ooh! A second flame? I think you just picked up some kind of decryption key. Could try using it on those terminals inside the puzzles. Okay, so I guess last time when I picked it up, there weren't any unsolved puzzles I could access, so that dialogue couldn't play. So yeah, I'm right, that is for the hint system, apparently. Does this lead? Ooh, let's do these first. You have tokens. Not every trial must be overcome as this creator intended. Sacrifice one of my sparks, and I will free the hidden fire hidden in this labyrinth. Oh, thank you. Just wanted to double check. But that's what that did. And indeed, it does. Ooh, driller. That's what it's called. It only use it on certain walls, apparently. Interesting. Is it specifically these walls, the way these look? Or... I mean, I guess so. Seems like it. Let's just get a lay of the land first. See what we're working with here. Hmm. Ooh, can't really angle that from out here. Anything else around here? Okay, that's our ultimate goal here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Here's the question. Does this leave the hole there? Or... Does the hole only exist while it's pointed there? Okay, the hole only exists while it's pointed there. That's... that's a good question to answer. And we can't... can't fit through the hole ourselves. Which makes sense. Hmm. But I bet we could put an item through the hole. Yes, we can! Look at that! Oh, whoops, I forgot to connect it properly. Yeah, that's... that's the game here, is getting this connected properly. Making good use of the right-click ability. There we go. Hmm. Now we can take this connector out. Do we want this in a better position? Maybe or maybe not. Well, we can't take the driller with us, I don't think. It's just gonna stay out here, I suppose. Actually, I think we need to put this here and put it on the other side. makes the most sense to me right now, anyway. Yep, that works. Oh, That's a problem, actually. Uh, whoop. Did not consider that, actually. Maybe that's not what I need to do. Yeah, I don't actually see how that helps me. Hmm. Let's try something else then. There we go, that's got a good angle for us. At least I think it does. Uh... Problem is, it doesn't connect to that. What happens if we move this? Yep, as expected. I just extended that wall just a tad too much, and we can't actually get in there. We move this closer to here, at least. But I don't think that helps us much. I'm not missing another connector anywhere, right? Yeah, I don't think so. And no other walls to hole punch through. It really seems like we need to get a connector out here, but I'm not... ...clear on exactly how we're going to accomplish that, is the issue. We can only punch holes through those walls. Obviously we can't put the hole punch through its own hole. over here again. And... I think I just need to set it up in advance. Yeah, that's the idea. I need to put this one over here first. And then I can take that one, you little thief, because we don't need that barrier open anyway. Yep, 
Yeah, there we go. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, they're complicating things a little bit. I wasn't watching the stream, but well done, 1K. <laughs> Probably. Uh, stream within a stream, except I'm not streaming anymore. I was able to get out of that. <laughs> I was worried I'd have to restart checkpoint. Like, I wasn't moving there, like, I was just looking straight down for a moment, not touching any keys, and my character was just sliding back and forth. That's interesting. I'm just gonna explore all the boundaries of this level, and then we'll start with puzzle number one after I finish exploring the boundaries. What is this? Inspect remains? Find an ancient human artifact. Oh, this should grow right up inside of it. Huh. Beautiful aesthetics. Oh. <laughs> so close. So close. So close. a regular puzzle or triangle puzzle? I guess it's regular. This is on the beaten path. I mean, I guess I could just look at it. Yeah, it looks like it's seven. Yeah, I gotta remember the compass is there. There's a question mark in this direction, apparently. I remember exploring nature stuff like this as a kid, then climbing on rocks and such. It was fun. This is question mark, right? Oh, and it turned into a triangle, so yep. Yep, it's a triangle puzzle. Let's do it. Loop. Yeah, it seems like only specific walls allow it. Oh, and I can't even go through this grating here. I can go through this one. Interesting. Very interesting. This button is just placed out of the way so that I can't do that very easily. This is our ultimate goal here. Seems like we want to push an object with the fan, or something like that. 
Hmm. Maybe pull an object through? We're just gonna put that there for now. Although I don't see a way to get in here. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, unless the fan can push us through, but I, I would, that would just trap us, I think. Yeah, we can't go through here ourselves. What do we want to push through there, though? Yeah, that's- that's not very effective. Even if we do it like this. Wait, really? Really? <laughs> I think I, uh... Yeah, I do think I have trapped myself, actually. Yes, I do believe that is not what I am supposed to do. Oh, I didn't even check this room yet, did I? Ooh, this is suspicious. If we get the box here somehow, we could get out of here. Not sure I see how that could be... ...done, though. Ooh, wait a minute. You think what I'm thinking. How do I restart this puzzle, actually? Uh, no? I thought these terminals let you reset the puzzle, but I guess it only does that when it's solved. Maybe I have to do restart checkpoint? Yeah, okay. Let's see what this does for us, if anything. <laughs> oh, yes, there are certainly some shenanigans happening here. I wonder if this is how people started breaking the demo. Hmm. We can make that jump, can't we? We take the box with us. Yes, we can. Somehow I do not think that this is in any way intended. Or maybe it is. Can't drop here. Oh, interesting. We can drop on the wall, but not here. Isn't that curious? <laughs> oh... This is, uh, turning into quite the adventure, isn't it? Well, I think this counts as having broken the game a bit, right? At least a little bit. I've gotta keep in mind that I can take this box somewhere else outside in the world, too. I wonder if they'll even comment on it. Well, for now let's just actually solve this puzzle normally. Alright, so... Hey, that works. Wait, what was all this for, though? Excuse me? Right, because I can't... can't do this at the same time. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Although... With this... Uh, yeah, this, uh... This pretty much trivializes the puzzle! <laughs> um... 
Evidently, this is not what we're supposed to do. At all. Well. Well, that was super effective. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do, but I mean... <laughs> Not much more difficult compared to what I almost did a moment ago. Uh... I can't help but notice that many of these structures are not strictly functional. There's a sense of aesthetics, of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us somehow, but perhaps there's... More to it than that. <laughs> so it still counts as solved. Well, let's start breaking things in and see where this gets us. Here's this question, can we take the connector out somehow? Can't reach it. Hmm... I think we can only take the cube out for now. I've stolen a cube! <laughs> I've smuggled it out. Now where do I want to take it though? Right, I want to finish exploring the boundaries of this place. Yeah, not much around behind this. <laughs> oh, goodness. You can do all sorts of things with this. How could they miss something like this? That, I mean, that's gotta be intentional, right? Can't just be an oversight. Would have easily found it in testing. We should easily be able to tell when we get back to the start because we should see the, uh, the loop. Excuse me? And we should see the bridge thing. You know what I'm talking about. The big area. constructed the giant Talos. Or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus. What we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. 
If then a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Yep, that was one of the logs you could find in Talos Principle 1. What did I just pick up? Ah, uh, well that wasn't the star, so I guess it was a flame? Why doesn't it show on this screen? And it shouldn't it be showing stuff in my top left, does it not show that because it thinks I'm still on a puzzle or something? Hmm. Sorry, jump, jump where? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, that's definitely not supposed to happen at all, I don't think. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> what? Why did that happen? Why would it ever have a jump here prompt for that? <laughs> well, I have to know. Creature of clay, you have strayed from your garden and entered a domain that is beyond your ken. Turn back now, before you harm yourself and others. Prometheus had no authority to summon you. He is rash and foolish and given to trickery. But his schemes lead only to ruin. Therefore heed my warning. The flame is not for you. Interesting choices. We will consider your words. We need to know what is going on here for the safety of New Jerusalem. We're not just going to leave because you had a bad experience with Magic Box. We need to know more about these technologies for the future of New Jerusalem. Hmm. I'm gonna pick safety. Your desire to protect your city is commendable, but you must remember that knowledge leads to temptation. Well, I was not expecting it to actually just let me do this. Speedruns are gonna be wild. <laughs> How many of those bloody things are there? I think that was Pandora, which matches the other one being Prometheus. They seem to be locked in some kind of conflict. Might be wise to avoid getting caught in the crossfire until we understand what these entities actually are. Um, how am I going to get back to the rest of the game now? What? Excuse me? Really? I can place these in advance, I suppose. 
Because I've got two already, or...? Wait, what? How does this make any- Oh, because there's multiple- I jumped over multiple gaps?! <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I actually just... <laughs> um... <laughs> what does the restart checkpoint do? Oh no... This is, uh... I have really done something terrible, haven't I? I've met with a terrible fate. Is there any kind of fast travel in this game at all? I think I messed up real big. Uh, I guess I have to end my playthrough here until they can patch the game, or... I replay up to this point <laughs> from a new save file. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is, uh... This is not good. Well... Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna have to report this to Crow Team, I suppose. And see if they can't do anything for me. Well... <laughs> I, I broke the game! I did it! 